The Timothy Leary book. Yes. Why the by the time you finish that mm. and it goes out into the real world, do you like him as a person? Uh, I do. Mm. I, I, just, I just enjoy him, I think. And there's a, a lot of people who are in the, the psychedelic world really have a problem with him. And I, t I tell you what he's like. He's like, um, he's like the Julian Assange of the 60s. Mm -hmm. he's, this, um, he's a person who sort of comes out and sort of stakes an entirely new area of, uh, uh, of, of territory in our culture. Uh, something no one's ever really thought of before. It's entirely sort of new. And you need this really mad self-belief, this messianic sort of belief of a drive, sort of go out into culture and stake out what no one's ever done before. Mary Stokes was, was a similar thing. Mary Stokes, Timothy Leary, uh, Julian Assange, they've all got this very similar personality. So in their very brief period, they're lauded. Everyone's delighted. And then everyone just sort of turns against them like they're toxic. Uh, and um, they're sort of shunned by the by what you know and the space they stake out then people like edward snowden will sort of, andrew snowden will sort of come out and um and be and be loved to what he does you know because he's a much more um uh not meek but a much more uh easier to like sort of personality mm -hmm. but it, it it needs these real shit kickers to sort of stake out this territory in the first place uh and leary was was definitely that he was he was a real sort of year zero for for the modern world leary in many ways